This is the man who warned the world when authorities stayed silent. Li Wenliang told others in December of a new virus similar to SARS, the outbreak that killed hundreds in the early 2000s. Authorities punished him for speaking out. Now, just 34 years old, with a wife and child, he succumbed to the virus. Online, tribute from across China, but also heavy censorship. He was such a nice person, but still didn't pull through, and those left don't dare to speak out. He showed a responsible attitude towards society. He's honest and faithful. So I think the entire community should reflect on this. There are so many things we can't discuss or talk about. I'll just say Dr Lee made a huge contribution. News of Dr Lee's death has rocked the nation. Misinformation spread by state media that he was still clinging to life in an apparent bid to quell online anger has again made many here question if they can believe what the government tells them. In the epicentre Hubei, new hospitals being built rapidly aren't enough. Authorities have set up massive evacuation-style centres as the number of cases, both confirmed and suspected, surpasses 50,000. Of most concern, fresh cases of young children being diagnosed, including a newborn baby. There has been that constant increase in, in cases in Hubei uh, province, but we haven't seen that same acceleration in provinces outside Hubei. Across the nation, the streets are empty. People heeding government warnings to stay home in the hope the new infections can be minimised outside of Hubei. Experts are divided here on when exactly the outbreak will peak. Some say weeks, some say a couple of months. The censorship around the death of whistleblower Dr Lee Wenliang has ignited old fears that as the crisis expands, you can never quite trust the authorities here to give the full picture. Bill Bertels, ABC News, Beijing.